Okay, guys, take 10. Uh, feels like it today. All right, so what we have here is an oil filter relocation kit. When you're installing your Coyote motor off times, you gotta get it in the chassis, it's gotta be low. I know for us when we're putting it in our new modern chassis that we sell, space is very limited. We've got everything just trying to get it low to the ground and then all of a sudden we can't have room for even the filter. And so we need to relocate it somewhere and move it. And so what we have is a kit that we felt put together that allows you to remove the filter and the oil filter cooler off. And if you take a look at the height there, that may as well just be a mile for us when we're actually trying to create space. So this comes off. You're gonna take the oil filter relocation off. There's gonna be a hole and you got this nut here and you're just gonna crank this on and you're gonna seal this up and put it on. And these holes right here are gonna to point to the back of the transmission. I suppose you could put it to the front if you wanted to try to do that, but we usually try to keep things out of the way of the alternator. So this goes to the back. Then you're gonna have fittings that you're gonna connect here, your AN fittings, they all come in the kit. You're gonna have a lot of AN fittings and some different adapters, some 90 degrees and stuff. And you're gonna connect this. You're gonna have this go right into here. And you're gonna have two lines that you're gonna cut out of this to make it work. Then from there, you're gonna install your new filter right on here. Ford Motorcraft, of course. And then you're gonna locate this maybe on a frame. You can put it a couple different ways right there. Now, that's great for Gen 1, Gen 2, works well, and it works well for Gen 3. One of the things with the Gen 1, Gen 2 difference is on the oil pressure sensor on a Gen 1, Gen 2, you don't actually really need it. You can just take that out. You can install your Dakota digital uh, sensor in there to work for gauges and it's perfect. But in a Gen 3 Coyote, you actually have to have everything connected up. You gotta have the oil pressure sensor connected up and you gotta have the other oil pressure sensor which helps control the cam phasers. And they gotta have oil up there otherwise they're not gonna rotate. And so as you're uh, trying to get all that connected up, you can fit this and you can fit this and it all clears, but the problem is there's no port for you to actually install the Dakota Digital send, sending unit for the oil pressure. And so we have a couple of variations. We have on our website, we have an adapter for oil pressure sensor. And this allows you to um, pull out the factory oil pressure sending unit. You're gonna get a banjo bolt with some brass crush washers. And you're gonna install these so that this seals up really good, just like that. And then you're gonna get some plugs right here. You'll have plugs here in case you needed to add something else uh, for turbos or whatever. And then here you're gonna put your sensor back in for your factory sending unit for the, out of the Coyote. And then you got a spot to actually install the Dakota digital sending unit. And you can install it in a couple different places if you wanted to. So you're gonna need this little part next. So that's kind of the difference between Gen 1, Gen 2 and a Gen 3. A lot of it comes down to having to have all three, uh, three sending units into that one tiny little spot. And there's not a lot of room. And they were all oftentimes fighting for space because of the oil filter, they've just jammed so much in that tiny little compartment and we had to come up with a way to make all this work. So this is what we use here at Fat Pinner Garage. We use it all the time. It works really well and we've been really happy with the product. Um, these are available on our website to purchase. Uh, you'll have uh, the oil filter relocation kit which you can purchase. It comes with a hose, it comes with a fitting uh, and so you'll be able to install all that. If you need like more than this, I think there's three feet there. Um, let us know, we can send you more out. And then you're gonna need the adapter kit. So all these components are at fatfinnergarage.com. Of course, there's a link in our bio that will take you over there too as well. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe by hitting that little button to be notified when we have more videos that come up. So 
all new Fat Fender Garage product videos that we're doing. We're kind of redoing even some old ones to try to give a little bit better explanation for you guys and a little bit more detail about why we use it and what it's for. Uh, we'll try to come out with those uh, every Tuesday uh, so you can be alerted and, and be aware of uh, more information, tips, tricks, and uh, things that we've learned as we're doing it here. And with that, we'll see you next time and uh, happy hot rodding.